Welcome back to the Z Code System channel. Drew here, and it's great to have you back with us here on YouTube, or if you're on the blog watching our video this week. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. fight, which is going to be taking place this weekend on November the 28th, which is Saturday night. It's going to be coming to you live from Los Angeles at the Staples Center. So this is a huge fight that is going to be going on in the world of boxing. And if you've been following along since last summer when it was initially announced, this is going to be um, one of the uh, fights, prize fights that people are looking most forward to, perhaps most uh, looking forward to since Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fought earlier this year. And for some people, this is going to be the fight, um, uh, the fight that they've been looking forward to since Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather went at it a few years ago in that big crossover fight between an uh, MMA star and a boxing legend. So big fight coming up this weekend, and we're going to talk a little bit about it right now here on the Z Code System channel. So as I said earlier, it's going to be going on this weekend. It is a big Thanksgiving weekend of sports going on around the world and in the U.S. specifically. Uh, celebrating Thanksgiving on the Thursday and then going on with this fight on Saturday night, which, like I said before, is going to take place in Los Angeles. Now, as you can see right there, we've got the blog up that I posted earlier today. You can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog website and you can read all about everything I posted there and you'll get some more information on some of the things that I'll be talking about in our video here today. Now, this fight is going to pit two fighters who have come from different weight classes, and they're going to be going at it as, of course, Mike Tyson, who uh, is uh, going into this fight for the first time fighting a competitive fight uh, for the first time in 15 years, and Roy Jones Jr., who is fighting his first competitive fight in about two years. He last fought in 2018, and as we all know, Tyson was a heavyweight and a fantastic champion. Um fantastic in the ring and Roy Jones Jr. Uh, in the cruiserweight light heavyweight divisions. But uh, according to Ring Magazine, the uh, the word in boxing, the final word in boxing, they uh, gave him the title of the 90s best fighter. So um, two greats going at it in the ring this weekend. And as we know now, both of these guys in their 50s and, um, you know, we're going to see how that takes its toll and effect on the two as they go at it on Saturday night. Now, interesting note today, as I record this November the 25th, Tyson, uh, this day in history, Tyson became the youngest world heavyweight champion in boxing history. He did that at the age of 20, and he goes into this fight uh, still holding that uh, claim to fame. And if you grew up in the 1980s, in the late 1980s or the early 1990s, like I did, you will know that Mike Tyson was uh, the baddest man on the planet. He was amazing, and watching those highlights of his fights uh, back then was quite extraordinary uh, to see him uh, in the ring. And I can remember uh, being at my parents' house as a kid, and on the day, the day after, I guess it was, um, that he lost that world heavyweight title to Buster Douglas in Tokyo. I remember that coming on our local news, and it being such huge news um, that Tyson had finally lost uh, the world heavyweight title. And as we all know, he was knocked out uh, there in the Tokyo Dome by James Buster Douglas, who would go on later that year to lose the title as well. Now, Tyson went on after that to um, some infamy, different uh, personal and professional issues. Um, and we all remember the mid 90s when he had the fights, the legendary fights with Vander Holyfield, uh, biting off Holyfield's ear and um, the subsequent fallout from that. And for some people, some younger fans out there that may be watching this, they may think of Mike Tyson as a uh, more of a, uh, a, I don't want to say joke character, but a, a funny figure from the films and the different things he's done, things he's done to reinvent himself after all of those issues that he had in the 1990s. So he's a very different person than what I grew up with, with Mike Tyson's punch out 
and with uh, all the different things that I got to see him do uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Now, of course, like I said, he'll be taking on Roy Jones Jr., fantastic, fantastic fighter uh, in the lighter weight divisions, the light heavyweight and the cruiserweight divisions. Um, and he most recently fought competitively, again, like I said earlier, in 2018. So he has that going for him in this in this match that they're going to fight. Now, it's an eight-round exhibition is what it's being called here uh, for the weekend, this match between Tyson and Jones. So it's going to be very short, and uh, we're going to see both fighters see really what they can do. And I know we've seen the, the videos of Tyson uh, over the last year before, even before this match was put together over the summer. And remember, this match was put together over the summer when there was no sports going on because of COVID-19 and there was a, a bit of a lull in the way things were, uh, things were going sports-wise. And this fight was organized um, back then. And it was originally supposed to take place in September. It's been pushed back now to November. Uh, and the fighters both have had a little bit more time to get ready. And also the hype has built up a little bit more. Now the hype around this, at least in my opinion, is not near what it was for the McGregor Mayweather fight a few years ago. That was off the charts. People who didn't even care about boxing or MMA were getting on board for that and really interested in it. And, uh, you know, I don't really know if that's happening um, right now with Tyson versus Jones. And one of the reasons I don't know that is because of the, the lockdowns and the uh, social distancing and the fact that people just aren't getting together right now. So, um, but online, it just doesn't feel like it has that same hype as, as uh, the McGregor fight did against Mayweather a few years back, like I said. So going to see this fight go on. Tyson goes in right now as the sports book's favorite. He is minus 220 to win this fight. While, Flo uh, while Roy Jones Jr. is plus 155. Now, one of the things that uh, a lot of experts have said is that if Tyson gets to Jones Jr., he's going to pummel him. He's going to hit him hard. He's, he could knock him out. Problem is, Jones Jr. is younger, he's faster, he's quicker, and he can use that speed to his advantage to move away and get away from Tyson in the ring. And we could see Tyson tiring out very quickly. Again, We've seen videos over this year of Tyson in the in the uh, in training, you know, throwing some really hard punches and everything. But once you get into that ring, it's very very different than just sparring with a partner uh, in training. And the harder Tyson is pushed, uh, cardio wise, I mean, he was fantastic when he was in his twenties and, and early thirties, but now he's fifty, I believe fifty four, going into this fight. He's three years older than Roy Jones Jr. You know, we're going to see um, just how he can go and how he's tested. Um, personally, I'm predicting this to go all eight rounds. Uh, I know that um, when McGregor and Mayweather got into the ring, I believe it was a, what was a TKO um, in the 10th round uh, to give Mayweather the victory um, as he pretty much just outclassed uh, McGregor. But uh, these are two boxers. These are two um, warriors of the squared circle. They've gone at it for years. And I think that uh, we're going to see Jones staying away from Tyson's punches and uh, using his quickness and his speed and end up that just working in his advantage not to get knocked out, but also working out to be a draw. Now, of course, I could be wrong about this, but I'm leaning towards a draw, and that is uh, at odds of plus 900 right now going into the fight on Saturday uh, from sports books that I looked at earlier today. Um, I believe I looked at an um, odds checker just to get um, a good idea of what the aggregate uh, odds were. Now, if you're not really interested in, in buying this fight or uh, on pay-per-view in the U.S. or um, or abroad, I guess, and if you're on the uh, on the fence about it, it is good news to know that there are more fights than just Tyson and Jones um, on the card. Now, the card is going to cost you about $50 US um, uh, going into this game, or I'm sorry, going into this fight this weekend. So it's going to cost you about $50 US, um, but there are some other fights on it. Uh, let's see, that's, it's about seven fights in total. You're going to have three on the undercard, and you're also going to see some title fights. Uh, going up uh, in those, you're going to see some WBC silverweight uh, silverweight title match. Uh, you're also going to see a featherweight match and a, he and a WBC heavyweight title match on the undercard. So um, if you're on the fence about this, then those might tempt you to go ahead and get 
the pay-per-view. Now, on the main card, we're going to see some fights, uh, three fights leading up to Tyson and Jones, Hasim Rockman Jr. against Rashad Coulter, uh, Babu, I'm uh, sorry, Badu Jack uh, taking on Blake McKernan, and Jake Paul taking on Nate Robinson. So um, some interesting fights there. Um, younger fighters uh, going to be battling uh, as we build up to Tyson versus Jones. Um, so, guys, we've looked at this fight a little bit here. I've given you my prediction on this. A draw at plus 900 at the moment is the odds. Uh, but I'm thinking a eight-round draw between Tyson versus Jones as Tyson wears out. But Jones just can't get close enough to uh, knock him out. Um, and that is my prediction for this. But you can also go over to the blog there, zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and you can read up about the fight this weekend, this exhibition match and the undercard. I've previewed it there, given a little bit of history about the two fighters. Uh, you can get some more info there from what we've done here in the video. And uh, let us know what you think here in the comments section or over on the blog. You can post comments there and let us know what you think. Let us know who you're backing as well this weekend if you're going to be watching this fight and betting on it. Very interested to know what you guys think, uh, who you think is going to win and who you think uh, is going to, um, you know, how is it going to happen? Is it going to be a, a knockout? Is it going to go all eight rounds? Is it going to be uh, a TKO? What's going to happen here in this fight? Is Tyson going to bite off Roy Jones Jr.'s ear? What's going to happen in this fight? So let us know here on the comments on YouTube or over at the blog at zcodesystem.com backslash blog. Guys, thanks for tuning in here on YouTube. If you're just scrolling through, let us know what you think. Give us a like and subscribe so you're up to date every week when we post videos here because you can get all your great sports picks here with your NFL, whether it be your Premier League football or your NBA when it comes back later this month. Uh, we'll be having those previews on Z Code System and the YouTube blog. So let us know what you think. Give us a like, subscribe, and if you're You've come back again for um, another trip to the Z Code System YouTube channel. Please, again, give us a like and let us know what you think. So, guys, good luck this weekend. I hope you're going to enjoy the Tyson versus Jones fight. And I hope you enjoy, if you're in America, hope you enjoy the turkey on Thanksgiving. We'll see you soon, guys. Gobble, gobble from Z Code System.